Hey everybody, welcome to About Ukraine. In this channel, I'm going to talk a little bit about Ukraine, a little bit about, you know, the ups and downs of this country and the little interesting tidbits and facts that you may not know about. Uh, in this video, I'm going to tell you a little bit about myself and why I decided to move to Ukraine. Uh, my name is Vitaly. I was born here. And when I was nine years old, my parents ended up immigrating to Canada. And uh, I had a regular childhood, nothing really out of the ordinary. Um, it was difficult to adjust, of course. Happens to everybody, I guess. Everything seems to be fine until I graduated college. And that's when I was, I suppose, thrust into the uh, work environment, uh, the 9 to 5 office job. And I sort of had this realization. I thought, well, am I going to have to do this for the rest of my life? Am I going to have to, like, sort of start counting the days until retirement or something? Um, it was, I suppose, it was this change of environment. You know, when you're in, when you're in college or in high school, or whatever, you, you know, you still sort of living this life where you're not sure what's going to happen. Every day is sort of like, you know, different. Every, every year is different. But when you're actually starting to work, you know, the days merge into months and years, I suppose, for many. And people end up sort of uh, settling into their position. Uh, anyway, that, I guess that kind of scared me uh, at first. Uh, what I ended up doing, I ended up getting uh, laid off from that job, or I guess like let go, the way they like to call it. And I ended up getting, I moved back with my parents for a bit. You know, it was this moment where I started, you know, sort of opening up my horizons. Um, I ended up um, moving to Montreal. It was a French-speaking city. It's a French-speaking city in Canada. And um, I had to adapt, I had to, didn't really know anybody, I had to like really figure out, holy crap, like I don't know French, I gotta sort of maybe hustle, try to find something, and that was also pretty challenging, and it was difficult to adapt, but at the same time I'm glad I made that move because it made me grow a little bit, it made me kind of come out of my comfort zone, it was, it was a very valuable experience. Um, I also went to uh, Europe for a little bit, which, which also gave me like a slight a slight, uh, I suppose, understanding of different cultures, of how things are done there, which were different, right? You have different laws, you have different customs that I actually thought, you know what? This actually makes sense, you know? Back in my home country, that wasn't the case, but here it makes sense. And uh, what ended up happening was um, I actually didn't stay too long in Montreal. I ended up moving back and then trying to get up on my feet again. And... Uh, you know, that was, I suppose, all this, this whole period post-2008, post-crisis. Post uh, you know, the United States and uh, Canada, they were still sort of like reeling in from, from the effects of that crisis. And uh, it was a little difficult for people to find work, especially in, uh, in volatile industries like maybe construction or, um, you know, that kind of stuff. I'm not sure what other industries there are, but, you know, whatever. So, um... So fast forward to the time when I turned 27, I ended up visiting Ukraine for the first time in over 18 years, I think it was at that point. Uh, it took me a long time to actually, you know, get an interest in Ukraine and, and sort of uh, see the benefit of going there in the first place. What ended up happening was I thought, you know what, um, a lot of negatives, a lot of positives, a lot of, you know, sights, sounds, smells, like everything just hit me like a, like a ton of bricks, right? And what I ended up realizing within the first, I think, uh, two weeks I was there, because I was there for about a month that time, I realized, okay, I gotta, I gotta check this place out again. Maybe I gotta, like, come down here, maybe I gotta move here. So uh, when I went back to, to Canada, I ended up actively, you know, I, I, I was in the mindset of finding a job, I was in the mindset of trying to uh, make, a, make a move down there, and that really helped me, you know, maybe, like, look for work and made me, like, got me, like, really motivated. Uh, what ended up happening was, at uh, 29, I ended up moving to Ukraine and, well, the rest is history. So, what are the reasons? Why did I actually do this? Well, there are many reasons why I did that, right? Well, the first main reason, obviously, is because I know the language. I know Russian, Ukrainian. So, uh, it was easy for me to actually, you know, settle, get settled in. It was easy for me to interact with everybody. So, that, that's the number one reason. Uh, the second reason, obviously, I had uh, the pass. I had a passport. I was, it was, I was able to stay there indefinitely. I had no trouble, you know, leaving, leaving or entering the country. That was another big, big reason. 
Um, another reason that uh, it's, it's quite interesting was, was the Euromaidan revolution, was a big revolution in Ukraine where, where you know, thousands and thousands of people went out on the streets and then the, the previous uh, president, uh, ex-president, you know, fled the country and this tension with Russia emerged. It was very, I suppose, exciting and very, like, unnerving time where, you know, you had, like, people walking around on the streets. So, it was, you know, it was, it was like at, at the edge of martial law and, and it was a very, 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 very crazy time. Well, in hindsight, you know, nobody knew what was going to happen out of that. And like right now, we, we do know what happened, but, um, you know, past, after the, the revolution, uh, there was a lot, of, um, a lot of uncertainty about the future, a lot of excitement as well. So that actually made me, made me stay here. Uh, the third reason is, uh, well, I have some family friends here, um, some, some family here as well. So it's also, it's, it's good to have somebody that you can actually lean on a little bit to, you know, somebody who will give you the best advice uh, again, I didn't have any friends here. Another reason was the people. I found the, I found the people really, really pleasing. I mean, I'm not even going to talk about the women. I mean, everybody knows about women are beautiful here. They're great. They have great personalities. Uh, what I've really found in general, like, doesn't matter, you know, male or female, old or young. I've, in general, I found people to be very approachable, very uh, intellectual, very smart, uh, and very, like, authentic. And you, you, you could feel, like, Contrary to what I experienced in the West, I could feel like I could talk to them about anything and everything. So that's kind of another thing that I've got from here. And lastly, the last reason is obviously because I got a job offer. I got a great job. It was nice. It was a nice team. I liked it. Uh, and that's another reason why I came here. Because if I, again, if I didn't secure employment beforehand, I probably wouldn't come here at all, right? Because uh, it's, it would be impossible. So these are the reasons why I ended up coming here and why, uh, the reason why I ended up staying in Ukraine. And uh, I hope that this video has been very, uh, has been informative for you. And you know what, I'm just gonna keep going at it. I'm gonna make new videos and I'm gonna tell you all about Ukraine and basically what to do, what not to do, the cool things, the good, the, the bad and the ugly, as I like to say, right? So uh, stay tuned, subscribe, hit the like button and you know what, just see you next time.